All right, what up? So I can't get this freaking song out of my head. So you're coming with me. <laughs> you're coming with me. It's Hell and Back by Ink Kid. It's Hell and Back by Ink Kid. And I'll, you just need to listen to that song. If you are in the part of the collective that we've been talking about thus far, up into up until today, up to date, right? Up to date. That part of the sub collective that has been through hell and back, who has been forged in brimstone and fire, who has met every obstacle face on, who has turned around, faced fear. Like, you need to go listen to that song because you right where you should be. I've been through hell and back and I'm home now, seated right where you should be. And that's exactly what's what I just feel like somebody needs to hear that song today. I don't know how to make it make sense. It's like an anthem that just keeps playing in my head ever since we got off live, ever since I posted that last video. It was playing when I was recording that video, but I just ignored it. And then Spirit punched me in the throat with it one more time. And it has not stopped nonstop for the last like two, three hours now. I don't even know what time it is, seven something. Like Go listen to that song. I don't know what it is about that song, B, but you need to go listen to it. Um, if you need a power anthem for you just to sit deep in the energy of, I've been through hell and back, and I have had to do everything I've had to do for a fucking reason, and you are here for a reason, and you have a purpose and take up space, and you know who you are because you found the home within yourself, and now you can make anywhere home. That's super important. When you get comfortable with being uncomfortable because as things shift, you have that peace, that peace of mind. You know that you have put, you have put, I want to say like hammer to forge. I don't know why there's all these hammer messages and fire and brimstone and forging, but it's really what it, I feel like you forged your destiny. You gave up a lot to be where you're at right now. You gave up people, you gave up friends, you gave up comfortability, you gave up the gen pop way of doing shit and you stood up and you sacrificed everything for what you knew you had to do. That's the way I want to say it. You stood up and you sacrificed everything for what you had to do, for what you knew you could not ignore, for what spirit was calling you to do, for what God was speaking through you two to do, for what you were getting your intuition pings to do, for you getting tug of war to do. You've been through hell and back. Don't you dare let anybody make you feel small right now. Don't you dare let anybody downplay your accomplishments. Don't you dare let anybody knock you off your square. You know your fucking worth. You know your worth so much right now. And you're seeing your hard work pay off. Not a lot of people talk about it. But it's the little things. It's the easy mornings. It's the good return back to energy put out. It's all of the little things that amount into a good time. And despite how everybody around you, and I want to say in your circle is acting and, and changing up on you and this and that, or, or you're, you're finding conflict or at work, or it doesn't matter in your home life. It doesn't matter because you are so solid because you have forged yourself to be unrockable. This is the shakeup. I just want to, I want to say there's, I get like lightning bugs in like a mason jar and someone like shaking up lightning bugs. They're shaking you up right now. They are shaking up what you call home right now. They are shaking up what you call your inner circle right now. They are shaking up what you call your soul fam right now. They are shaking up what you call your people right now, your situation right now. The level you are at, they are shaking it up so you can see who's not meant to be where you're at and how you're lowering yourself to stay at your current station and i don't know why they keep saying station but it makes me feel like it's the bus station and you're not supposed to stay forever i don't know who needs to hear that but you're not supposed to stay forever because you're on the way up you've been to hell and back and you're home now because you found you traveling the world from hell and back you found you you made home in the most unlikely of places and it started within yourself. 424 on the freaking... You can't make this shit up. 424 on the damn clock. I don't know who needs to hear that. Go listen to the song. I've been to hell and back. I'm sure you've heard of it. But really go listen to the lyrics. And tell me that doesn't perfectly slap with the collective situation right now. I'll see you guys later. 444 on the clock. I'll see you guys later. Have a good fucking Thursday. Bye, B.